Samantha had always been fascinated by the idea of a doppelganger. The thought that there could be an exact replica of herself out in the world was both thrilling and terrifying. As a horror writer, she often incorporated this concept into her stories, but she never truly thought it could happen to her. That all changed one dark and stormy night. Samantha was driving home from a book signing event, her mind still buzzing from the excitement of meeting her fans. As she drove through the winding roads of the countryside, the rain started to pour and the wind howled against her car. She could barely see through the windshield, so she decided to pull over and wait for the storm to pass. As she waited in her car, Samantha couldn't shake off the feeling that someone was watching her. She looked around but saw nothing but the trees swaying in the wind. Just as she was about to brush it off as her imagination, she saw a figure walking towards her car. It was her doppelganger. At first, Samantha thought it was just her reflection in the rain-soaked window. But as the figure came closer, she realized it was a perfect replica of herself. She was frozen in fear as the doppelganger reached out and tapped on the window. Samantha hesitantly rolled down the window, her heart pounding in her chest. Hello, the doppelganger said with a sly smile. Samantha's mind was racing, trying to make sense of what was happening. Who are you? She managed to stammer out. I am you, the doppelganger replied. Well, not exactly. I am your doppelganger, your mirror image. And it seems we have quite a bit in common. Samantha was both fascinated and scared. She'd always thought of her doppelganger as a fictional concept, but now it was standing right in front of her. She couldn't believe her eyes. The doppelganger invited herself into Samantha's car, and they began to talk. She told Samantha that they were connected in more ways than just their looks. They shared the same thoughts, feelings, and memories. Samantha couldn't believe it, but as they talked, she started to realize that it was all true. The doppelganger knew things about her that no one else could possibly know. It was like looking into a mirror, except the reflection was alive and speaking to her. But as the storm passed and the sky cleared, the doppelganger suddenly vanished. Samantha was left alone in her car, both relieved and disturbed by the encounter. She couldn't shake off the feeling that this was just the beginning of something strange and terrifying. For the next few days, Samantha couldn't stop thinking about her doppelganger. She tried to brush it off as a strange coincidence, but deep down, she knew there was more to it. One night, as Samantha was writing in her office, she heard a knock on her door. She opened it to find her doppelganger standing there, with the same sly smile on her face. I've been waiting to meet you again, the doppelganger said. Samantha was too shocked to say anything, but she let the doppelganger in. They talked for hours about their shared memories and their eerily similar lives. The doppelganger explained that they were two sides of the same coin, two halves of a whole. Samantha couldn't believe the strange connection she had with her doppelganger. They laughed and talked like old friends, but there was always an underlying sense of unease. The doppelganger seemed to know more about Samantha than she did herself, and it made her question her own identity. As days went by, the doppelganger started appearing more frequently, always at unexpected times. She would show up at Samantha's book signings, her house, and even her workplace. It was like she was trying to take over Samantha's life, and it was starting to scare her. Samantha tried to distance herself from her doppelganger, but it seemed impossible. They were somehow connected, and wherever Samantha went, the doppelganger was never too far behind. One night, as Samantha was walking home from a late-night writing session, she saw her doppelganger standing outside her house. Panic set in as she realized that the doppelganger wasn't alone. There were multiple versions of her, all with that same sly smile. They surrounded her, trapping her in the middle of their circle, and as she looked into their identical faces, she saw something different in their eyes. It was a darkness, a malevolent force that she couldn't explain. The doppelganger started to close in on her, 
and Samantha could feel her heart pounding in her chest. This couldn't be real, she thought. This had to be a nightmare. Just as the doppelgangers were about to grab her, Samantha woke up in her bed, covered in sweat. It was all just a dream, but to her horror, she saw her doppelganger sitting at the foot of her bed, watching her with that sly smile. Samantha could never be sure if it was all just a figment of her imagination or if her doppelganger was real. But one thing was for sure, she could never escape the feeling that she was not alone. And that thought would always haunt her, no matter where she went or what she did. As we come to the end of another chilling tale, thank you for listening to Gothic Nightmare. If you enjoyed this horrifying journey into the realm of darkness, make sure to subscribe to never miss out on more bone-chilling horror stories. Remember, the darkness awaits. Thank you for listening, and don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to hear more horror stories.